The Weekend in Jacksonville with Dan Hicken is presented by Millennium Physician Group, your connection to a healthier life. Jacksonville favorite media mogul, Daniel Patrick Hicken, comma, Esquire. Not really, but nonetheless, ready to give you this week's rundown of all things Jacksonville sports. Let's start with our Jaguars. Oh, sweet Jags of mine. Got a dub. Did it in London. Beat the Dolphins. It wasn't pretty, but it was a win. And most importantly, as a proud parent, dear sweet Trevor continues to get better. That's what I feel like when I talk about this young man. A parent. I want to protect them. I don't like when those national guys get on them. You know, I don't like when those guys sit there and say, he's not doing this or he's not doing that. He's doing great and he's getting better every week and he's limiting the turnovers and he's making wow throws. And oh, I'm excited about watching him each and every Sunday. You do you, Trevor Lawrence. You do you and keep going. Jags get a win. And by the way, maybe one of the most underrated players in the NFL right now. That's right. I said it. James Robinson, know that name, 5.5 yards a carry, 5.5, 20 career games, almost 2,000 yards from scrimmage. He can do it all. And just a side note to the Jags, if you got a fourth and one, give him the football. Give him the ball. Just thinking. All right, college football now. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, things are getting tough in Gainesville, man. Things are getting tough. Danny Mullen, that seat's getting a little warm, isn't it? Uh, Look, can't lose to Kentucky when you're an eight-point favorite. Can't lose to LSU when they're firing their coach. You're a a 12-and-a-half point favorite. I don't care where they play the game. Those are games you got to win. There's a lot of coaching miscues in that stuff. I'm not an expert on the X's and O's. Never claimed to be one. Dan Mullen's a great uh, football mind. He's one of the best play callers in the country. He got 42 points against LSU. But Dan Mullen, you can't give up 49. It's not the Gator standard, man. You can't let them run the same play over and over again and have the same result. At some point, you got to take away the run. It was terrible. And these two losses are on Mullen. And they're on Mullen for different reasons. They're on Mullen because he's sticking with a defensive coordinator who's not getting the job done. With all due respect, he makes a lot of money. It's a results-oriented business. Not getting the job done. Last year, they were terrible. This year, they were terrible against LSU. Not good enough, gang. Okay? Recruiting. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not making the move to Anthony Richardson. Not good enough. These are problems with the Florida program that Dan Mullen is responsible for, and he is going to have to address. And I'm not sure I don't, I'm not sure I understand why he won't address them. You know what I mean? Loyalty is a great thing, man. But the good of the program is the good of the program. The program is bigger than Dan Mullen. He's the steward of the program. He's the guy who's supposed to be taking care of the program, but he's not doing enough things, in my opinion, that are right for the program. So anyway, uh, uh, George in two weeks, we'll talk about that next week. I don't want to talk about it right now. Over in Tallahassee, all right, week off. Listen, just go hammer UMass. UMass is terrible. UMass is probably worse than Jacksonville State, okay? Okay. Go hang your 50 on UMass. Go have a fun day. Uh, Take a little bit of confidence. And then get ready for five tough games down the stretch. And they're all tough if you're FSU because you're not a very good football team. But you do have a win over North Carolina a couple weeks ago to hang your hat on. And it was a great win. So you got to keep building. You take care of UMass. You get the three wins. Then you got Clemson who, listen, I don't think you're beating Clemson. But maybe you got a chance. Maybe you got a chance. You know, and you wouldn't have said that at the beginning of the year. It's probably more so because Clemson's not so good, but go take care of UMass and then worry about Clemson, NC State, Boston College, Florida, and Miami. You can beat Miami at home. The other four, tough games. So we'll see what FSU has going forward. Locally, high school football, I'm going to shout out to Fletcher. Uh, Fletcher's own theatric face. It's a slow start, right? They lost their first three games, I think. 
Big win over Nice High School, 14 to 13. Big district game. Fletcher in the driver's seat in its district. Should make the playoffs. Congratulations. They sort of turned it around. They're winning football games. They get first coast, uh, who's not the first coast of old anymore. They haven't won a game this year. So, anyway, uh, Fletcher should keep it rolling. High school football, you got to love it. Lots of big games going on uh, this weekend. Looking forward to all of them. That's all we got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the clock is ticking. We got to run. Well, we appreciate you hanging out with us here and some sports concepts and rationalizations. Enjoy the weekend in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. We'll see you next time on Jacksonville Sports Weekend.